Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. We got a really, really cool product review. We're gonna do an unboxing of the Bloodline Putter. We got the Veil Putter in today. I'm gonna to unbox it, I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna do a full review here in the simulator and on the golf course. I'm excited to bring it to you. Hope you're excited to see it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is gonna be the quickest and easiest unboxing ever. I've already taken a quick peek at it. I couldn't wait, I wanted to show you guys. Let's go ahead and open up the box and show you what's inside. All right, so Bloodline Putters. This is a, this is the Veil Putter. This is actually one that's endorsed by Ernie Els. I really like the way that they shipped it with the little PVC pipe. They give a tool here as well. It has a threaded insert, so if you need to adjust length or anything like that, it's super easy to do with this putter. So just take this out. That's just for shipping purposes. It has actually a really cool putter head cover. It has a shield with a veil on it. And then on the front, it has what looks like a drop of blood for the bloodline putter. And then on the tools, it comes with an Allen wrench. And this is how you're going to be able to adjust different things with a putter as well. So let's go ahead and show this putter off and see what you guys think. And we did actually show this putter at the PJ Merchandise Show 2022. And we interviewed with the company and we asked for them to send us a product to review. This is not a sponsored video. They just sent us a product. We can do our honest review on it. And uh, so if you're asking yourself, okay, looks like pretty much any other putter I've seen out there on the market and you haven't seen our previous video, this part just may blow your mind. So let's say you're gonna line up your putt and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna line up my putt. I'm ready to go, check it out, all right. Now is my alignment where I want it to be? Hmm. Most putters you really can't tell, right? Well, on this one, boom, magic. Walk back behind your putter, you check your alignment line, you come back, grip your putter, you're ready to go, and you take your putt. Super easy. Now how do they do that? Is this sorcery, is this magic? No. They got some really cool st spots here on the bottom of the putter that stick out, kind of protrude past the putter line. You really can't tell when you're putting with the, ball, with the actual putter itself. And the way it's kind of weighted allows for the putter to stand up on its own pretty much anywhere. Now, we're gonna test this on the actual golf course as well to see if this putter will actually do this on a slope or on a hill or on a windy condition to see how, we're, how this putter is actually going to respond. But let's give you a little bit more input about the putter before we get out to the golf course, I want to share with you a little bit more about it. So let's talk about price first. Price is $2.99, and I have seen some coupons, uh, including on the Bloodline Putters website as well, where you can get $50 off. So that might bring it down to $2.49. So right in the, that right price point for me. Um, really cool feel to it, nice grip. Of course, you can always change the grip out if you don't like it. It does have a black shaft on it, which makes it look nice. Red on the red and black, which red and black, garage golf colors, definitely love it. And again, this is a threaded insert. So where it attaches here and down here at the bottom, there's actually a little Allen wrench spot and that's what the tool's for. So if you need to adjust it, remove it, there's some instructions on what you need to do, then you can actually adjust that a little bit as well, which you can't do with most putters. So I really like that. Um, has a really good feel to it, it's lightweight. I believe they sent me one in a 35 inch. It doesn't have the measurement, but it seems to be 35 inches or so. But I'm super excited about being able to test that out. Now, of course, traditional golf people might say, hey, you know, this is gonna slow the game down. I really don't think it will, to be honest. You might take one quick peek, see where your ball's lined up, make sure it's lined up where you want it, and then you go and you putt it. You know, it has a really good feel to it. it. Doesn't feel like a gimmicky putter in any way, shape, or form to me. It has nice weight, nice balance. I'm looking forward to doing some putting and testing it out and see how it does for me on the actual golf course. And I'm a putter junkie, so I love putters. So we're gonna get this out there. We're gonna test it out. Um, it has kind of like a, a, not a plastic, but like a polymer feel to the face. So we'll see how that feels when you actually hit a golf ball. In fact, let me test a couple out here while I'm in here in the simulator. It's the first time just kind of getting a feel for it. And I just love that feature. Just grip it and you're ready to go. Nice soft feel to it. Not a clinky sound, not a loud sound, nice soft feel. Feels like you can get good uh, feedback on it if you hit, miss hit it. 
Oh yeah. All right. So I'm pretty pumped about it. I'm looking forward to taking it out to the golf course. Let's go ahead and just take this thing straight out to the golf course. Let's get some reviews done. Let's see how it does for us. If you have any questions, reach out to me anytime. Roland at mygaragegolf.com. Also, make sure, do me a favor, make sure to click the bell notification for more videos like the one that you're watching today. Some of our videos are only getting out to 7,500 people in the first few hours. We have over 9,000 subscribers now. So I wanna make sure that you're getting alerted of any new videos that we have. And also make sure to check out our website. I've done a lot of work to the website now uh, where we, do, we put all of our reviews on our website as well as any products that we've reviewed, any of our, um, our preferred vendors for things like golf simulators, golf products, uh, things like ShotScope, other companies that we reviewed in the past as well, and links to them. And some of them actually have discounts for you at home as well. So make sure to check out our website, which is mygaragegolf.com. Let's go ahead and jump out to the golf course. All right, fellow garage golfers, we're out here at Alsatian Golf Course with the Bloodline Putter. We're gonna be doing some test putting around on the greens. It's about to get a little bit dark, but I wanted to do some quick on-course footage for you. Again, right now, now this thing's touted to be able to stand up on its own, and it's howling. Show the flagstick with me. Look how much the wind is blowing. Now, I'm having a hard time getting it to stand on its own right now with the wind. You'll see. It's not always gonna work the way that it's meant to work, but if you block it, there, for example, this is how it's meant to work. Now, if you got blustery winds of 20 plus miles an hour, probably not gonna do its job. But right now, let's get a feel for the actual putter itself. Let's hit some shots with it. Got a putt here from about 15 feet away or so. And again, the intention is to be able to set it down. See, it's a little too windy here. And I'll check some other spots just so you can see. But we're gonna test it out, see the feel. I do like the sight lines on it. Okay, horrible putt. Don't judge a putter by me. I haven't even tested this shot yet. Again, super windy. The ball's even moving. That wind is just brutal. Sight lines are very nice on the putter. The feel is very soft. And again, if you see the bottom, this is how it's meant to be able to stand on its own. It has these little ridges here that stick out, meant to be able to allow it to stand up on its own. So we're gonna see when we get out of this, we're kind of in a huge bowl here where the wind just gust. But again, if you block it even slightly, it does its job, it stands up on its own. So let's take you to a couple other holes and we'll show you the putter in more action. And you can see how windy it's been out here. The flagstick got blown out of the hole. So I can't think of a better day to test this putter out than on a really windy day like today. One cool thing is it does pick up a golf ball, but hopefully you'll be making too many putts with this to have to worry about picking up golf balls from the green. And if, Olivia, if you come from above here, I do like the sight lines. It's still windy. Sight lines are nice to help you frame the ball and line up the putt. If you'll get some shots from behind, we're gonna, we're gonna take some five foot putts. So let's take some five foot putts from here, down at eye level. And I'm not holding it there. I'm not holding it there, so you can get, get a feel for it. And it's still windy out here, so we're gonna go ahead and just take some putts with it. Okay. See how we do. Really nice feel to the putter. It's the first time I'm testing it on an actual golf course, so it's gonna take me a while to get used to it. That's a bad hit there. Distance feels good. Let's hit a couple more. I got shaky hands with putters. I always do, it's always been a flaw of mine. Speed, something I gotta work on, but I'm hitting, that would've hit center of the cup there. Again, speed. Overall, good feel to it, good balance, good weight. It's adjustable. And I would've made that one. And again, 
if it's not super super windy you can let it go let it do it let it do its thing get behind it line up the putt if you need to adjust from there you can come back to it adjust your aim a little bit right or left and then take your putt so it's not fair to the putter necessarily today with 20 mile an hour winds to test it out but i think it also shows you at home what to expect on a regular basis if you're in a windy area something you have to factor in but overall the bloodline feels really really good good quality putter and uh, we're going to continue to test a little bit more today all right check out the putter head cover for the veil very very cool and again the bloodline logo also it is magnetic so it's a nice quality head cover that comes with it let's take some shots off the fringe just to see how it reacts off the fringe i like to putt i like to putt off the fringe a lot instead of using my wedge so let's drop one back here we'll hit a few shots from back here and just see how it does overall um, a lot of it's going to be on me obviously but i just want to get a feel for how it does getting through some of the bumpy stuff and again Probably not the main purpose of a putter, but just how I play golf. So I definitely want to test it out. And again, same concept here. You want to line it up, let it go. It's not so windy here now. So this is going to be a, a more fair assessment. If I wanted to kind of line it up, adjust it, say, oh, I need to go a little bit more right. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's test it out. All right, I need to hit a little harder. Same concept, you're off the green, you're on the green, you kind of line it up, ready to go. Let's give it a little bit more. Not bad, probably better than I could do with a, with a wedge, to be honest. A little too hard that time. And the wind started blowing about 20 miles an hour right when I hit it too. No excuses though. All right, so we took three shots from a par three down that way. And uh, this is where the balls landed. So we're just gonna play them out with the Bloodline Vell putter and see how we do with each shot. We'll start furthest away and work our way in. Again, the whole appeal of the putter being able to set it down, line up your line, a little bit left there, coming back and adjusting it. As far as being able to read a putt, nothing you can do about that. That breaks a little to the right. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Try to line this up left. Quick and easy, this does not delay the game at all. No more than just reading a putt. That one has a line if I got it there. Ah, one rotation. But see how easy it is to line up your shot with it. That one broke to my right. This one's gonna break to my left. Let's see if we can line that up here. All right, great feel to it. I really do enjoy that. This one was a really good shot. And you don't need to line up anything for that one. Not too bad. All right, so for one of our last tests, let's go ahead and test out lag putting. We're gonna be putting from here all the way to the flag stick over there. It's one of the hardest things to do, obviously in golf, is a good lag putt. And for us to be able to do that, we gotta have a good feel with the putter. So let's test it out. Now, one thing I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this putter is endorsed by Ernie Els. He basically put his name behind this putter because he believed in the product. So that's definitely a big name in the golf industry. So it's something that, um, you know, for him to back it basically as an investor more than anything, then uh, that's something that really kind of stands out to me that he believed in the technology enough as a professional PGA golfer to kind of put his name behind the product. So let's do some lag putting with it and see how we do. All right, so this is gonna break to my right here. Let's see how we do with this lag putting. I'm gonna have to give it a lot. The green's kind of in repair, and it's really windy today. I 
Not bad, and I had to crush that. That wind's blowing hard. But we got it within probably a few feet there. That's gonna be too soft, a little bumpy, but if I have it within, my goal would be to have it within five feet. That's probably 10 feet there. You really do have to give it something from back here. This is a very bumpy shot. But overall, I mean, I'm within 10 feet, within the three, I would say. So it gives me an opportunity at least for a two putt for a par in that situation. All right, let's move it back a little bit. We'll hit some about some 10 yard shots up this hill. Putter looks great though. Gives you good confidence with the nice wide lines. The putter face is really soft and responsive. So nothing wants to basically like rebound off of the face, which is good. And again, you're never going to knock down every shot with any putter, but if you, if you like the way it looks and you have the confidence with it, that's half the battle right there. All right, so overall, testing out the Bloodline Veil Putter. Um, again, it's my first time out with it, but I've had really, really good experience with it. I've been using it throughout the round. We also did another video today on the shot scope, and I putted with it throughout the entire day. The face is very responsive. It's an absolutely really, really good looking putter. I do like that. Um, I like the overall look of the putter and the overall feel of the putter off the face is very soft. Again, it's not too bouncy, it's not too hard feeling. I do like that a lot. Very windy situations, something like Pebble Beach, it's probably not gonna stand up on its own, to be honest. And I know that's one of the main appeal of the putter, but if it's 20, 20 mile an hour plus winds, chances are it's not gonna happen. Now, if it's calmer, like say like right now, it's a little bit calmer, obviously, it's gonna do its job. You're gonna be able to set it down, stand behind it, check your line, and then be able to hit the putt. And that's kind of the whole appeal to this putter, right? But if you're not into gimmicks and that's a gimmick thing for you, it also is a really good feeling putter. It's a nice putter, nice light angle. It's easy to go back and through the ball. And overall, it's just, it's a look that I like. I like that you can pick up the golf ball if you do miss the putt. Um, I do like everything about it for the most part. The only thing is, again, if it's really, really windy, and this is the whole appeal for you getting this putter, then it's something that, you know, obviously you gotta factor in. But overall, if you're not having 25 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour winds on a regular basis, then it's definitely gonna serve the purpose that it's meant to do. But overall, as an overall putter, it's a really, really good feeling putter. So make sure you check it out. I will put the link for the Bloodline Veil Putter in the video description below. If you have any questions on the putter, ask me anytime. Reach out to me at roland at mygaragegolf.com. Also check our website at www.mygaragegolf.com. I'll put links for certain products like this one. And again, I'm not an affiliate for Bloodline or anything like that. They sent me a putter, asked for me to do an honest review and that's what I'm doing here today. So hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, we're gonna continue to use it on future videos as well. So I'll give you some feedback as we continue to go. And uh, I'm gonna test this out probably for at least a month or so and see what I think about it. But overall, pretty cool. I like the fact that you can use, this has basically just an Allen wrench and you can use to adjust this putter if you needed to. So you can't really say that with any other putter. So let me know what you think. As always, we appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll see you on the next one. Until we do, keep on golfing. Thanks again.